You know, ever since I embraced this curly hair thing, uh, life has been just a lot easier. Like, sure, it's kind of like not nearly as manageable and shit like that, but I hardly have to do anything. It's just pretty great, to be honest. It's great for somebody like me that's lazy as fuck, so. So, yesterday, I couldn't make a fucking video because I had so much shit, man. So, I still have this shit going on with the electrical stuff. Top of the microwave getting fried uh, at that one point because it was just on and then it just ended up cutting off and it just doesn't turn on anymore. We mentioned recently to the electrician slash power company that the uh, fan upstairs in the bathroom just doesn't work anymore. It used to work like you would turn the light on and the light and the fan would be the same thing. It turns out that fan just completely stopped and I figured, hey, yeah, it's probably just covered in dust and shit. No, apparently the wires up there ended up getting melted and it ended up actually catching fire at some point. It didn't go any further than what it was, but it's just completely blackened underneath the thing. All the wires are melted and shit. The fan's toast. It's done. I think I'm just going to use this carbine for the day or some shit like that. I was using this Ram 7 or whatever the fuck uh, just to get it Damascus just for the sake of getting it Damascus. Uh, I was going to do the same thing with the uh, the Holger or whatever because it's like the G36 or whatever. Also, I had an idea here. I brought up some tool. We have a glass here. We have some Sprite and we have some G Fuel. Since all these people out here are getting all these flavors in their cans and shit like that, I've already said this before, but I've been looking forward to trying to get my flavor in a can as like a, a soda, basically. So we're gonna pour this up in here and we're gonna make our own. I've already done this before, but I'm just gonna show you guys because it's fucking incredible. No, you're not gonna be able to taste it, but fuck you, it's good. There we go, we got all this. A scoop that's on the way lighter side here. You're not gonna be able to see it anyway, but honestly, it's taking a really long time to mix because I don't have an actual thing or like a bottle to just shake it up in. I was afraid to go and dump the G Fuel into the Sprite thing because then I'm gonna have to shake it. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, but it comes out as like this reddish pink drink. Now, it actually kind of looks orange here on the screen, but I promise you it's like pink. Like reddish pink. I usually end up getting like a giant ass Sprite or something from a place that I order or whatever, and then I'll put a little bit of G Fuel in it and then mix it up with all the ice and shit that they put in there with the straw and all that. Ooh, it's so good. It mixes even better than this. You see the shit that I'm doing trying to get this drink? I, uh, I went to the dentist yesterday um, for the first time in at least over five years. Basically, ever since I moved out of my grandparents' house. Shit, maybe even more than that, because I didn't go, basically, after I had gotten out of high school. After I got out of high school, I was just kind of like, man, fuck this shit. I just didn't want to do doctor's appointments. I didn't want to do any of that. I really need to go get a physical, too. But ever since then, you know whenever you go to the dentist and, you like, your teeth feel weird, like, all the little spaces and shit like that, anything that they've cleaned up or fixed or whatever, your mouth just kind of feels weird. And I was prepared prepared for that feeling when I started. All right, there we go. I have to turn the overclock shit on. Got an extra 30, 40 frames maybe. Oh, can't do that. Dude, why can't I hit people, man? What is my sense? 18. Like, why does it feel so slow? Like, if I can't do a perfect 360, like, five times in a row, there's something up with this shit. For the longest time, you know how, like, your bottom teeth and the back of your bottom teeth are usually, like, the worst areas just because that's where most food ends up, uh, you know, collecting and shit like that? You need to make sure to, like, clean those bottom teeth up all the time. Space between my teeth, I didn't realize for how long, like, it's just not there. Like, I still felt some space here and there on, on the back of my teeth, so I didn't think it was that bad, but when she went over that shit, my entire, the entire bottom row of my teeth just feel completely different. I feel like I have fucking dentures or veneers or some shit. Uh, straight up though, if my teeth ever got fucked up like really bad, I probably would just end up getting like those crazy white teeth like fucking Shannon Sharp has. Look up Shannon Sharp teeth. That dude's got the nicest fucking smile I've ever seen in my life. I was like, wait a minute, isn't somebody aiming over there? I thought that was my teammate's laser for a second. See, that's really why I don't like that laser, though. Like, I know the TAC laser is probably one of, if not the best attachments for, you know, quick scoping and shit, but, like, I just I really wish people couldn't see where I was all the time. Like, I just feel so visible on this game. Pretty sure I have a uh, quick fix on, actually. What the fuck? Oh, he picked up the wrong gun. He's still using the other guy's sniper rifle. I think he thinks it was mine. Wall dang. Surprised I didn't get a second hit marker, to be honest. Dude, look at this guy. Look at him. Look, look at him. 
I don't deserve that. It's point fucking blank. If that ever happens to you in real life, you're getting sat the fuck down with that bullet. I'm sorry. Also, I noticed one weird thing as well. Why all of a sudden does my character knife? Oh, it's because I have a throwing knife on. So what's the point of the bayonet again? So for all questions though, why can I not open this? I should be able to open this window and just shoot down at him, to be honest. Given I know that window would be pretty gross, but... Yeah, so now I think the plan is to take the electrical company, call them up again, and just be like, Hey, when is everything gonna be, you know, the way that it's supposed to be? I'm gonna say when, not ask if. I'm gonna say when the fuck is my shit gonna be fixed? I'm gonna call this EMP drone in and see if it disorients them enough for me to be able to push. EMP'd. Yeah. Dude, there's a whole back area over here. Why is this even here? The amount of hit markers you get trying to play 10v10 with this gun is just, it's not worth it, man. Even 6v6, like, it's just not really worth it. End up playing, like, the same fucking four or five maps or whatever when you just keep queuing uh, hard point or whatever. Like, the lobbies are good, and it's probably the best game mode, but mm. best default mode anyway. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of people being interested in search and destroy content, but I feel weird trying to play search by myself. If I played search, I would like to play search with, like, a group of people that are talking and shit. John Jones, Dominic Reyes both make weight. Expected. I got three people at least before that killed me. If I ever join a lobby like this, I'll either A, leave, or B, just throw on a fucking, uh, you know, cold-blooded and shit. How is nobody near the HQ? Why is there not a single soul over here? Why is my whole team out at the fucking cargo area? I live somehow. He's my favorite. You just call me famous. I would push like a fucking dumbass. I can't believe these players are so fucking terrified to press. He's actually sitting there while we are just, just capping time. If I can get on it and throw down the trophy system, it usually helps a lot. But this dude's in our spawn now. Okay, he flipped it, so that helps us. I just got tripled. I just got tripled with a dragon off. This is why I randomly go prone in the middle of groups of people, because people spawn around each other and just don't even bother. If I don't make the effort to actually move, it's over. There's nobody else. Like, people are just so clueless. Enemy how many VTOL? Holy fuck! Dude, how does it take three rockets to take down something? I'm sorry, if you have something that's meant for anti-vehicle, anti-kill streak and shit, shouldn't it do its job and not take three rockets to actually destroy it? You gonna play the fucking game? Are you gonna play the game? Sitting there does nothing for us! Stop. These are people operating vehicles around our families and children. I'm actually mind blown. They operate vehicles! Machinery! Oh, there it goes. You hear that? Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's just randomly that happens on my PC. There's nothing wrong with the actual USB things connecting to my PC. You won't be able to hear it, but just now in the background, that fridge in the background made a noise like it restarted as well. There's just random little trips where it just, it'll randomly disconnect shit. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. God, man. Yo, teammate! He tripled me right here. I'm like so fucking tilted. You're garbage. Yeah, suck my dick. Garbage ass. Yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> John Jones weighs in at 204 pounds for the title defense. Dominic Reyes weighs in at 205. Dude, I would love to see John Jones actually try heavyweight. I, I know a lot of people are clamoring for like that Israel Adesanya John Jones fight, but honestly, I, I don't think Israel's ready. Love Izzy. He's my favorite fighter at the moment. Stylistically, I love watching this dude. Follow him on Twitter and everything. I love this dude. I support all the shit that he does and everything that he he stands for. I just don't think he's ready for 
Jones. And I'm sure he even said that himself. He was like, oh, I need to get, I'm not at that level yet. I need more fights. I need more experience and stuff like that before I take any of that off. Probably not word for word, but he said something along the lines of like, you know, I got to level up a little bit before I feel like I'm really, truly ready for that. Like, honestly, just slap the ever living shit out of me if I somehow managed to go negative using an MP5 or an M4. You should slap the shit out of me. My KD is like a 1.8, a 1.6, like it ain't even that high. And that's just from like doing a bunch of challenges and sniping and mixing the sweat in and shit. Like, come on. I can take this sniper scope off and literally make this the easiest thing in the world to use, but like, I just feel so dirty doing it. I'm sweating. I can't help it. I can't stand losing to these players. I can't. I don't... I hate how competitive I am, but not competitive, but competitive. Like, what are you, what are you even about, Jason? What are you actually about? Are you competitive or not? You can't just sit here and flip-flop back and forth between an M4 and a fucking sniper rifle. How about you pick one? Ten years sniping and not giving a single shit when people sweat on me. But when this game, on this game, when people sweat on me, I can't stand physically sweating now. Now I'm sweating.